All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Kyle's Kitchen, Volume 2. All right, that's where we're at right now, Volume 2. So, I'm going to make uh, milkshakes tonight. That's why I'm making milkshakes today. And a lot of people really don't know how to make a milkshake. So, I'll show you. And, and it's more simpler than you think, okay? It doesn't take a lot of ingredients to make a milkshake. It really doesn't. And they're fun, it's good for the summer, and it's just, it, it keeps you cool when you drink it, it keeps your internal, your temperature in your body cool, and it tastes excellent, especially when you use fresh fruit. So I'm going to use blueberries, that's one of the ingredients, got some sugar, a tablespoon of sugar, also vanilla, I'm going to take a couple scoops of vanilla, probably two, and put it in the blender, and I got some milk. Let's do it. I'm ready. What about you? You ready? Let's do it, man. Alright. So I'm going to start by taking two scoops of vanilla ice cream and putting that in the blender. Okay? That's all, that's all we're going to need for now. Then I'm going to take, I'm going to take a tablespoon one tablespoon of sugar. Throw that in. Okay. You see what I'm doing? Alright. After that, I'm going to throw in some milk. A little frozen. A little frozen, huh? Then, fresh fruit, blueberries. That's what I'm using today. Blueberries, the fruit, the milkshake. And believe it or not, Swift apple and a red one, okay? And I'm making candy apples, okay? And I'm gonna put some, some nuts on it, walnuts. Alright, very simple, okay? What I'm gonna do, open up the caramel. The first video that I made has, uh, I showed you how to make caramel, okay? But I just decided to buy fresh caramel at the store because I don't feel like making it from scratch. But the recipe for caramel is uh, butter, sugar, and a can, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to rub the apple in the caramel. So I'm going to stick it with a fork, okay? And then I'm going to rub the apple in the caramel. I'm rubbing it. Okay, after I do this, 
sweet. Very sweet. I am going to put some walnuts on it. I put some walnuts on it, okay? You know, I let it pick up the walnuts. And this is basically how you make a candy apple, guys. All right? Looks pretty good. All right? Really, not really nothing to it. Just really, not nothing to it. And I mean, this is a great rest. This is a great um, uh, recipe for kids. If you get or if you get a sweet tooth. So go ahead and try it. You know. And but you gotta put it in the fridge. Let it sit in the fridge for a little while, so it can harden, and so the caramel and the apple can harden, and and so the nuts can stick to it. But other than that, this is the best of this episode. Thank you for tuning in. All right, see you next time.